hello friends uh, in today's video we're gonna be uh, dealing with uh, this motorbike uh, it's got a problem and the problem is that uh, as soon as you start the bike uh, you start to hear the metallic noise is uh, coming from here from the from the rocker cover so the suspect are the tappets tappets are loose so we're just gonna tighten the tappets uh, with the feeler gauge this is a 10 mil uh, 10 mil uh, bolt which we're gonna take off There's one on this side and there are two on the other side, so I'm just gonna just gonna take this one side first, take take this one side off, and then I'm gonna go on the other side to the other side. One and then there are two on the other side. Right guys, on this particular model, we don't have to take the whole um, crank cover off. We can just take this bit in the middle and then we can turn the, turn the crank. okay in order to turn the crank i had to take this uh, cap uh, off from the side uh, i did it with a flat head uh, screwdriver and uh, to line up the t mark to line up the top dead center i had to take this plastic cap off from the top here the small one and uh, as you can see in the camera that uh, uh, I've lined up the top dead center with the groove on the crank casing and uh, if you can see I'm just gonna show you closely you can see the T mark in there okay so as you turn the crank uh, anti-clockwise you'll uh, get to see T mark twice 
So one circle is uh, combustion stroke and the other one is exhaust stroke. You should be setting the tappets on uh, combustion stroke. Let's see. And uh, as I was turning the crank, uh, the piston would uh, jump. So I've locked it with cable ties so that it doesn't move. And as you can see, I'm moving the piston, uh, I'm moving the tappets and there's plenty of play in them. Uh, I could hear the clicking noise. So that's uh, something uh, we're going to be adjusting. At the moment, they are very loose. I can move them with my finger. Okay, see it? See it my, with my finger, they are moving. There's plenty of play in them. Okay, guys, as I mentioned it before, to set the tappet uh, clearance, I need a 10 mil spanner, a feeler gauge, and uh, the, the requirement, uh, the gap requirement for this uh, uh, Honda CG125 uh, 2005 model is uh, 0 0.08 mil. Okay, so that's uh, 0 0.08 mil. Okay, and see the noise here. okay that's okay that's not too bad the front one is not too bad as you can see the gauge slides in let me just oh sorry i've got two there so that's no point yeah so there is a gap here and there's a big gap on this side as you can see there's no resistance at all when I slide the feeler gauge on it so what I'll do is I'll do the front one first so the first I need to
formed. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's the front one sorted. Just going to do the back one now. Okay guys, now that I've uh, set the gap, clearance gap, so I'm just going to put everything back together. As I mentioned before, it's got the rock cover got two holes on right hand side and one on the left hand side. So this is the last one on the left hand side which is going to tighten. Okay, that's that done. So now I'm gonna, as you can see here. I locked the I locked the crank. Just gonna free it now.
Now on this particular model you don't have to take the whole cover off. All you need to do is just take this bit off here and this one. This one is to see the mark, marker, T mark, so that you can line up and then this one to uh, turn the crank, okay? They don't have to tighten it too much. As they are just the plastic uh, caps, covers screws okay that's that done 